Hey everybody, Sean and Ron here from WholesingersFlyShop.com. Today we got a really cool thing to show you today. We're going to show you the Maxon inflatable boat. Um, really cool product and uh, we carry it in the shop here. You saw I carried it in on my backpack. It's a 37 pound backpack and uh, we'll turn it around here for you. Everything for the boat fits inside this bag. So let's get the bag open and we'll show you everything that's in it. Okay, we got an air pump. <clears throat> and a stripping net and a little bag. We got a seat and a patch kit in case anything should happen to it. You got a patch kit to reinflate re it. And a cargo net for the back. Now let's get the boat out of the bag here. Oops. Also, it fits your oars in the bag. All right, now let's get the boat out of the bag here. All right, pull the boat out of the bag. We're just gonna spread it out on the ground. And now the next thing we need to do is inflate the boat so we can start fishing. Okay, to inflate the boat, you have these little caps here. We're gonna unscrew the cap and you can see there's a pin inside. Right now the pin is set to deflate the boat so the air will come out of the boat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and just push it in there and spin it clockwise and this, this pin will push up, you can see. If you wanna deflate it, you spin it and turn it counterclockwise and it stays down. So we're gonna turn it clockwise, let it push up and then it'll inflate with air. So now we can screw our, screw our nozzle on there to inflate the boat. All right, now to prove how easy this boat is to inflate, Ron is gonna inflate the boat here just using the foot pump and I'm gonna time it on my stopwatch here. So go ahead and get started. Okay, you can see that took two minutes to fill the front half of the boat. Now the same size tank is in the back half, so it's gonna take us another two minutes to fill the back half of the boat. So we're gonna fill that up and come right back with, to you. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach the paddles here. We just clamp them together like you do most paddles with the pin. Okay, and then you can see in the handle here, there's a hole. We're gonna stick this shaft, we're gonna take this ball off the top. And then this shaft will go through the hole in our oar and put that ball back on top to hold it in place. Okay, now we can lay our boat paddle down and strap this into place. There's a nice, you got a nice uh, holding strap here to hold your oar out of the way so when you're fishing. Uh, now we're going to go on and put some more of the accessories on our boat. Alright, next thing we're going to put on is the seat. The seat is very easy to install and it's a very nice padded seat with lots of back room on it. So it gives you a lot of comfort because it has a nice high back on it. So what you're going to do here is there's short straps and long straps. The short ones are going to go towards the back and that's going to hold your seat in place. The long ones go towards the front and uh, they just hook into the grommet there 
and that is going to give keep your backrest at the at the right height. And then you can adjust the straps to get it where you want it when you get it in the water and get your tension all right on it. Next thing we're going to put on is the cargo netting. All right, the cargo netting, all we're going to do for it is to have these long straps on it. We're just going to tie them in here. We're going to tie this one in the center in the back first. And we just tie these all into place. And this can hold your keeper tackle box or whatever underneath it to keep it from rolling around while you're out on the water. And then we're going to bring one up front and tie one up front here. And then we just got one more set to tie in and they go on the sides here. And that's all that's to putting our cargo net on. The last thing we're going to put on is two last pieces here. There's hooks in the side of your in the side of your boat here. One is for the foot strap. Okay, this is important if you're on a lake like we are here today. You can get your feet up, rest on here, or uh, to rest on, or if you're on a river and you don't want to be hitting rocks with your feet, this is really a key here. So we're just going to clamp this into place. This keeps your feet above the water. And the other thing, this is a stripping net and it has a tape measure on it, which is really cool. And uh, we're just going to strap that in. This is if you're using the fly rod or if you just want to store stuff in front of you. So just, huh? oh. so we're just going to put this in the grommets here. And uh, this is not, you don't have to have this on. This isn't as important. It's just if you like it, it's, there, it's here for you to use. So this is all that it takes to set up the boat. This was a really quick setup. You can do this one person, no problem. Um, just nice having an extra guy here. But let's get this thing in the water now and we're gonna see how easy it is to fish. Oh, it also comes with a little cargo bag too, which you can put in the, in the hooks here on the side. So if you want to pack some extra stuff, it's not waterproof, but it's a nice little cargo bag that you can put, you know, some line, stuff like that in, or, or a box of lures or something like that. So uh, lots of options for this boat. Let's get it on the water and try it out now. Okay, let's get this thing in the water and see how it works in the water. So very, very simple. You just sit down in it. You know. Move it out just a hair. All right. And like I said, adjust your back straps to get the tension on it where you want it. If you want to lean back further or forward, whatever you need. And then we're just going to unstrap our oars. Bring our oars up. And go for a ride. All right, this is a great boat, easy to get around in. We really like this thing, and uh, we're gonna start fishing here. So I'm just gonna put my oars up. And start fishing. All in all, this is an all-around great boat. Um, just ease of use, ease of setup, 
easy tear down. All you do is unscrew the caps counterclockwise, that little pin in there that I showed you before, and um, it deflates itself. And then you just put it all back in that bag, which like I said before, was 37 pounds. Uh, and you have yourself a packable inflatable boat that's uh, seven foot long and holds up to 606 pounds. It is very easy to cast off of. Even with my fly rod, this is a great still water boat. I can fly rod, I can cast my flies easily off of it and uh, no worries about casting a spinning rod either. Um, all in all, I give this two thumbs up. It's a great boat. I really, really enjoy using this and uh, I think you will too. So check it out at our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. If you'd like more information on it, you can get a hold of us there and uh, just email us or um, leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.